do that an impoverished deaf orphan from Korea taught me sign language when no one else would. I was able to finish school. When the Miss Grant Adventure Machine drove me from my home, I made for the West Coast. In her honor, I moved into Chinatown. I don't want to take all of my pictures out of the books, so this may be slow going as I remove the pictures and exhibit them with stories about them. But I thought I would share with you the spectacular beauty of Chinatown. Where the park is, that Mayor Greg Nichols managed to commission. There was once a post office. I took a picture before they tore it down of the mural in the post office. You can see the mural here, possibly the only place you can see it these days because it's gone. But as a historic preservation neighborhood, Chinatown is one of the wonders of the West. The spectacular beauty of Chinatown never fails to amaze me. Yet it is in a municipal district and it has the feel of a modern American city. One of the things that the adventure machine added and contributed to my experience was that I lived across the street from the remarkable Ichiro Suzuki's career at what was then Safeco Field at a time when a bleacher seat was only ten dollars and I could walk there in just a matter of minutes. Of course downtown Seattle is nearby too so access from Chinatown to see the Mariners and to see baseball was part of its charms. So when we look at the remarkable underpass between Chinatown and Little Saigon, we see what is today graffitied from the uprising of our troubled times, but even the graffiti shows that the people love where they are. In the time that I lived there, the remarkable Chinatown Gate was built with a crew from China, something that no doubt took a great deal of negotiations with a union that often resists such things. I met some girls in the bakery who came to be very close friends and my heart goes out to them in these difficult times. When you look at Chinatown from the distance of Seattle, you're not far from the waterfront. Seattle can be a very remarkable place. The spectacular beauty of Chinatown is indeed part of the thrill of living in Seattle. And the bakery where I met these girls was so interesting to me that I made sure that any guests from out of town also visited. In Little Saigon, there were many elderly vendors like this extremely friendly and affectionate fruit seller on the corner. And of course, there were costume parties at times when people would celebrate. And those costumes come from the tradition of such a international holidays as the Tut Festival. And there was always the decoration associated with Chinese popular culture. Images that you don't readily see in modern America. On one occasion, when I went to Seiko, I drew a picture of what I was seeing 
from the upper deck. So once you're situated in the spectacular beauty of Chinatown, you begin to get a feel of going about your daily life there. And of course, it's easy to go from Chinatown into Seattle, which are right on top of each other. There's a remarkable thriving international newspaper industry in Chinatown. And you can see the boxes for each and every one of them lined up in front of the former post office. Some of the older buildings went into dilapidation and just stayed there. Nobody could convince the owners to sell. And they became landmarks of the poetry. And sometimes the disregard the Chinatown is wrongfully held in. More affluent members of the Chinatown community have built such things as the pond and fountain outside the Uwajimea complex, which one passes from Chinatown on the way to Safeco Stadium. Between the Umajuea complex and Safeco Stadium is a form of art that resembles nothing so much as the avant garde of Stalinist Russia during the 1950s. This remarkable image is on a parking lot, and it's part of the spectacular beauty of Chinatown. When we look around, we see a form of architecture and a style of architecture, which is not everywhere seen. In the new park, we see the pagoda, which was once in a smaller park, somewhat eclipsed by the old post office. And on particularly exciting days, the Chinatown community come out and have festivities. And you will see the great dignitaries from the city of Seattle associated with the International District, meeting the great people at the gates. And of course, most fascinating of all is the Chinese girls' drill team who come out in the flamboyant red and gold. The dignitaries, of course, represent, among other things, a, a number of restaurant owners and food stores. And of course, those who thrive by the written word, the poets, the city of Seattle. You see the dragons over the lamp posts. You see the memorials to fallen Chinese American soldiers. You see the giddy happiness of the young girls. Taken as a whole, a truly remarkable place. The architecture is old and breathtaking. The pagoda itself, a landmark of the melting pot. The murals the children draw, a commemoration of their self-identity, and always the dragon dances. Old stores made new for a new generation. It's the Higo, which had a story about Mrs. Marikami, who was put into the American concentration camps. And then, unlike many, Places that were confiscated, her premises was restored to her by the Jewish man who had it. And it now belongs to a new generation. 
There's a poet tipping his Chinese hat. Here's a remarkable woman enjoying the festivities at the gate. Here is a fine cook of my acquaintance. A fine man indeed. Oh, these men are all fine men. You mean the best by our society. In the library we had children playing Vietnamese music. And of course the Upper Present Girls Drill Team. The dignitaries are remarkable people, eager to meet the people they represent, as Bob has a Galway in that photograph. In little Saigon, there are also murals, remarkable murals. Visitors from China come to Safeco Stadium and enjoy the baseball games. People are careful, they're organized, and they're wise. Some of them keep to themselves. Some of them are hungry and in poverty. They have pastors of great insight and ability. And unending wellsprings of creativity. They have community gardens. You can see the wheelbarrows on which so much depends. They have broad senses of humor. And electrifying abilities in the kitchen. The spectacular beauty of Chinatown never ceases to amaze me.